Fox News Flash Top Entertainment and Celebrity Headlines are here. Check out what clicked this week in entertainment. Ilaria Baldwin recently claimed on social media that her husband, Alec Baldwin, has been suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, for years. The mother of six spoke candidly on her Instagram stories about social media trolls, tabloids, paparazzi, and how she's trying to speak her truth. We oftentimes have people creating news stories about us. My husband is suffering from PTSD right now. It's not from what just happened recently, but he's been suffering from this for a very 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 long time, she said on her stories. These people know this and they want to poke at him. They want to upset him. I'm at a place where I'm tired of not talking, she added. Alec Baldwin's misguided interview slammed by Rust Gaffer's attorney The posts come a week after Alec sat down for a tell-all interview with ABC News regarding the shooting on the New Mexico set of his film Rust. Ilaria Spotted walking in New York City Back grid, the Oscar nominee was holding a revolver that was discharged. A projectile from the gun hit and killed cinematographer Helena Hutchins while director Joel Souza is recovering from injuries obtained by the projectile. Alec Baldwin deletes Twitter account following tell-all interview about fatal rust shooting in the interview, Alec made the shocking claim that he didn't pull the trigger. Instead, the 30 Rock alum said that he pulled the hammer back slightly while rehearsing a scene. When he let go of the hammer, the gun was discharged, he said. Ilaria said on social media her husband, Alec, has been suffering from PTSD. Back grid. Alec also said during the interview that if he believed he was responsible for the shooting and therefore Hutchins' death, he may have taken his own life. Click here to sign up for our entertainment newsletter soon after the interview aired. The 63-year-old actor deleted one of his two verified Twitter accounts, one of which he was much more active on and was the one he used to previously issue statements about the fatal shooting incident that took place on the set of the indie western movie in October. However, his account at Alec Baldwin remains live with the latest tweet being from October 19th. Prior to that, it was only active in June. Alec Baldwin spoke to photographers in Vermont alongside his wife, Ilaria Baldwin. Fox News Digital the fatal rust shooting will also be investigated by 2020 in an upcoming special. The network teased how it examines the events that led to the deadly rust shooting, featuring first-person interviews from those on set. Ilaria previously told the New York Post that she worries about Alec developing PTSD. I brought Alec up here to Vermont because we have to mourn Helena's death, she told the outlet. Alec had a really traumatic thing happen. And I am trying to limit the PTSD. Click here to get the Fox News app you look at what happens to soldiers and police officers when something like this happens, it's traumatic. We just came up here for quiet. Fox News Nate Day and Lauren Overholtz contributed to this report.